Presented by Caltech. Our second uh, awardee is uh, Quindu Xuan Lei, who is the Catherine Dexter McCormick and Stanley McCormick Memorial Professor and Chair in the Department of Radiation Oncology at Stanford University. Professor Late is a three-time SURF participant in chemistry, in biology, and in geography. She credits her 1988 SURF with Ned Munger, Professor of Geography, as having launched her interest in medicine. Munger wasn't a scientist, but someone with a very strong global view. As Professor Lay puts it, he had a view and care for the world. He helped to send me to South Africa to work with the segregated Asian Indian Hospital in Durban. I realized there that I wanted to devote my life to medicine. And the rest, as they say, is history. The citation for Dr. Lay reads, for her contributions to the development of new radiotherapy treatment and paradigms for cancer of the head, neck, and lungs, and for her leadership in medicine on prominent national panels and as chair of the Department of Radiation Oncology at Stanford University. Dr. Lay. So I'm not very articulate, so I'm going to read my remarks. Um, so President Rosenbaum, distinguished faculty and fellow alumni, I'm very humble and grateful to be standing here today receiving this award. I'm humble because I get to share this award with many distinguished alumni today, as well as those who have came before me in the past, include, including Nobel Prize laureates, university presidents, company CEOs, and society leaders. I'm forever grateful to everyone who has helped me today. First and foremost, my family members who have educated me, put, me, put up with my work, workaholic and quirky habits, <laughs> and stood behind me every step of the way. I'm grateful to my colleagues and collaborators who have tirelessly support, supported my endeavors in head and neck cancer research. I'm grateful for all members of the Stanford Department of Radiation and Oncology and Cancer Institute who have collectively worked together to share the care of our cancer patient. I'm grateful to my fellow alumni who have believed enough in me to put forward this nomination. But most importantly, I'm very grateful to Caltech for providing me the education foundation that gets me where I am today. A mission of Caltech is to educate the students to become creative members of society and I believe that I'm the direct beneficiary from this mission. Arriving at Caltech at age 18, speaking broken English, which I still do, according to my husband, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was admitted by mistake when I saw how smart all my classmates were, especially when I got the results of my first quiz, a D minus I barely passed. <laughs> However, I learned quickly that everyone here was very supportive and the environment fostered collaboration rather than competition. At Caltech, I learned how to think rationally, how to tackle problems systematically, how to generate and address hypotheses, and how to always question things, how to be tough, how to work hard, and how to care for others. I also learned how to survive by pulling all-nighters during the finals, how to fit in by memorizing all Pink Floyd songs, <laughs> and how to thrive by meeting my loving husband uh, on this very campus. Caltech was, has given me the opportunity that would not have happened in any other university. I got to work with many distinguished professors as an undergraduate student, including Professor Sunny Chan, Howard Lipschitz, Paul Patterson, Jean Paul Ravel, and most importantly, Ned Munger. I received a served undergraduate fellowship to work with Dr. Munger on an apartheid project in South Africa during the apartheid era. This truly opened my eye to more than science and helped me to focus my career decision in medicine where I can help people. However, my training at Caltech did not uh, stop there. It continues to shape my career in medicine. My two years of undergraduate physics at Caltech make radiation oncology a piece of cake. <laughs> and it allows me to bridge between patient care and research, both of which I love. 
I can continue to apply scientific rigor that I learned from Caltech to everything that I do in head and neck cancer, from conducting clinical trial to basic laboratory science to technology development to translational research. I think I believe that Caltech, through an enabling culture, has not only made me a better researcher, but a more compassionate human being. I feel very fortunate and grateful to be standing here receiving this award today. I learned that one's experience during college can be important in molding one's character, and Caltech has truly molded mine. Thank you.